Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I will show you how you can actually make uh, any photo into a powerful black and white portrait and uh, also you can make a sort of like a vintage look to it with uh, uh, some green and some other color adjustment. So I, I think that this is going to be a very interesting tutorial. Uh, uh, there is uh, some good tricks that you can learn to pick up on your work. It can be really useful on various works. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, we are inside Photoshop and right now inside Photoshop what we are gonna do is I have already my image in here so let's uncheck and as you can see the image is here but it's on smart object mode so we don't want smart object mode we want to rasterize it so just rasterize it now uh, there's like a few ways you can do black and white adjustment but before that let's just crop the image to our um, image dimension so there we go it, uh, it looks good and uh, Please check delete crop pixel before doing that because uh, you you might want to check that because if you want to do that uh, before that it's gonna do some problems something like that. So now let's go to the adjustment layer and right now uh, we can add U1 uh, saturation uh, at the clipping mask on you can decrease the saturation and also there's another trick what you can do is go to adjustment layer and you can actually just add a black and white layer so both works fine but uh, black and white layer, adjustment layer gives you much more options to actually choose the highlights and everything so I want I want I'm gonna delay the one saturation so now instead of black and white you can actually tweak the settings like let's say for uh, if you increase the red it will gives you much more um, uh, warm and much more um, brightness to the face so don't do over because if you do over to the settings it will look like a messed up scene so just adjust to your liking so i'm gonna just uh, play with the sliders uh to like get a satisfied look and uh decrease the science and everything so uh it looks pretty much good but also if you do too much you can see that like inside the settings there's some kind of uh things that will pop up so let's just decrease and uh, do it a little bit not so much so uh after you are done with the adjustment black and white adjustment layer, uh, we can move on to our next effect and that is going to be a short technique and uh, here's the before and here's the after with the black and white. So now uh, we are, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add some depth to the photo. So let's go to the image adjustment layer and uh, select the shadow and highlights. So now you can see that uh, it looks uh, pretty much overexposed. So play around the settings till you get a very good, satisfied result. So right now, after some a little bit of tweaking here and there with the shadow and highlights, you can see that it looks pretty nice. I'm getting um, much more um, oh, like exposed photo. So I want to also decrease the exposure. So there's no exposure in the scene because if you do overexposure, it just looks not so much fitting to our overall scene so after some adjustment if you are fine with everything uh, now we can do move on to our next thing and now for that what I'm gonna do is actually I am gonna go to camera filter camera filter is a highly useful plugin that comes with Photoshop it's pretty much like Lightroom but inside camera raw you can do some very advanced tweaking like color grading and everything so um, you can see that after like the little bit tweaking that we did um, the original image without a uh, black and white filter it looks pretty good and uh, inside the camera raw filter let's just um, apply some settings and there and um, it, it, it's, it's gonna look pretty good and um, inside the uh, camera filter we what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just tweak around the settings and uh, at, uh, increase the overall darkness, uh, overall sharpness, and everything. But just don't do over too much because if you do over, it's just gonna look messed up and not so much fitting inside our scene. So, after a while, when you're done, you can see the results are already playing up pretty nice, and um, so far it's looking pretty good. and. Um, 
just um, be careful with the shadow and exposure because sometimes it just be like that. So there we go. We are almost done with our overall tweaking and it looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. So what we can do is now we can add a curve to lower the brightness a little bit. Um, so uh, do a little bit, not so much. And I want a little bit of um, like a, a glow to the face. So I'm gonna add another curve and this curve this time I'm gonna increase the brightness of it so it will look like the color on her face or overall everywhere it's popped up but don't do too much and it, it will just look messed up so i'm going to just pinpoint it to a high contrast kind of glow and select the mask press ctrl i to revert it and paint over it like paint over the area that you want with a slightly decreased opacity so now it looks pretty nice uh, we are getting back our clothes and everything just paint the hair like everywhere where the light is reflecting so it will look like much more brighter than before um if it looks too much we can decrease it the opacity so decrease the opacity to something like uh around 50 looks good so there you go guys it looks pretty nice so now let's select all the adjustments we did and uh, Make it a group name adjustment layer and uh, now when we uncheck here is the before and in here inside the before picture you can see it looks much more popped out too and here is the after pretty good right so this is how actually you can make um, any kind of simple photo um, like a colorful one with some adjustment and it will look like much more popped out and especially with black and white if you add some green some um, depth to the photo it will look much more like a vintage sort of thing but um, it, the result is pretty good and you can experiment with settings and everything so here's the before and here's the after once more it looks pretty good with all the adjustments and tweak that I made and uh, it's a really good one like um, brings the first result to the image so I hope this tutorial really helped and if it did leave a like subscribe to the channel and uh, I am coming back with much more tutorials uh, in different softwares like Blender and Photoshop so I really hope to see you on to the next one and uh, have a nice day until then see you later